Good evening ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So I just got the latest firmware update 2018.18.2 and today I'm going to try something different. Usually I'm driving around 150 to 200 kilometers uh, before I do my test um, because some people say that the new update needs to be um, calibrated but uh, this time I actually installed it like I don't know an hour ago and uh, haven't driven it yet so this is the maiden voyage of 2018.18.2 As usual we are starting with oh the car braking for some reason maybe the car that was turning in front of me but that was still a long way off um, yeah so for the real uh, test here so the hill up ahead where it used to veer off to the right um, in the previous update it was a little bit a regression where it moved a slight bit but not that much so it was still okay Let's see what it does now. So coming up at the top of the hill. Yep, that's just dead straight. Here as well. So the slight regression that was there, the slight movement that we had, that one has been fixed in this release so that's good news second hill yep rock solid nothing to comment on uh, with this so yeah awesome so they uh, fixed the bug okay so this part uh, it loses the lines on the right because of the intersection and in the last update it veered slightly to the right seeking out the middle of the lane I guess with the bike uh, path here it's going to the left side now a little bit but yeah no no wandering movements um, maybe a little bit too much to the left side but I'm happy with the way it handled that Up ahead there is the tight right and left turn where the car veers too much into the opposing lane let's see what it does with this update so hands on steering wheel for safety might have to intervene if the car veers off too much so let's go it's going over the line it's going over the within the line a little bit over the line again And here it's barely just just on the line basically so I'd say we're uh, a step back on this one again um, but yeah as I said before this is a very difficult section for autopilot to tackle in the sense that it's a very tight turn at a relatively high speed but it is a legal speed limit there so I would expect the car to slow down before the turn because based on GPS it knows that a tight turn is coming up or it should know um, but yeah I guess that's still an update for the future to take that into account but I've seen the car slowing down for uh, highway exits for very tight highway exits so I thought autopilot slows down before the turn so that's a bit of a, of a difference uh, but yeah um, I guess in this case it's uh, too much to ask still but yeah it's room for improvement so now it's time to test the uh, auto lane change so I'm staying at 97 kilometers an hour behind that uh, car in front of me um, so as I turn left I'm expecting it to speed up yeah it's doing that a little bit okay so that's that's not bad 
going to the right, seeing that the car is gone. Oh, again, you've got the dotted line, it turns into a full line and then it's like it, it's immediately reacting when you give the signal, but then it doubts a little bit, but it's not too bad. Here again, I'm going to wait until the car slows down a little bit for the truck and then I'll see if I change lanes, what it does, whether it keeps slowing down or not. So we're almost within range. Okay, car is slowing down now. So if I go here, yeah, it's still slowing down to match the speed and only now it starts to ramp up again. So I'd like to see that not happening. Um, probably it's a safety feature for in case the car in front of me slams on the brakes. In that case, it's a good feature and it's just human behavior that expects otherwise but is not necessarily safer but it is a little bit more uh, I'd say difficult to merge into oncoming traffic so the lane on the left is moving faster so they expect me to merge in and speed up together with them so I match the speed and that's the car is not doing that it's matching the speed of the right lane or the current lane that you're in basically and that means that uh, you're hindering traffic that you're merging into it's kind of a double feeling so i can understand it from a safety perspective but uh, in case the car uh, would break suddenly but from a safety perspective towards merging into the other traffic it's not that good up ahead there's that uh, quick left right and I'm not going to let the car brake for that truck that I think that's in the lane so let's see if we can get up to 70 yes or no and how close it comes again no it's still really close to the curb there so there's no change for me uh, on that section So what can we conclude from this update? Well, over the hill there was a slight increase in instability um, where it lost it uh, in the previous update. So in the previous update that was a regression bug, now it has been removed so we're back at the same level as uh, update 10.4. Um, on the other hand, uh, the tight right and left turn that was I think more of a regression this time uh, because it actually moved over the line uh, which creates a dangerous situation and you should not try to let autopilot handle that um, then if we move to the to the highway section um, so the auto lane change no changes in that actually uh, and as a last point, there's also no change in that left-right quick lane shift where um, it comes close to the curb and I'm not really trusting Autopilot to handle that on its own. Now again, I know it's not meant to uh, be able to handle those situations yet, but it's impressive what it can do already. and each and every update I'm looking for regression or and that's what I would like to see more um, some new tricks that this uh, 776 horse pony can, has up its sleeve all right thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye